Hello everybody and welcome. This is going to be the first video of the vlog series that I in all likelihood shall post on a weekly basis. I'll just be giving you updates here, so if you want to check them out, if you want to check out what's going on, what's coming next, or what are the current projects and what are some future plans, etc., you can just check it out on a weekly basis where I will be updating you. Also, you can uh, spam me as much as you want with a list of topics or features or tools such as the Keylogger, or if you want the course to be done on a certain topic, you can also uh, just send me a text message and I'll see what I can do. Anyway, I have my notes as usual, like right here in front of me, just some points that I want to talk about, and I was keep hoping to keep this rather short. Anyway, one of the new things is that this is like my new office, this is actually where I work. Most of you have seen me from my house with the computers there and with the chaos on my table. Uh, you can find all sorts of things on that table. Hasn't been cleaned in a very long time. <laughs> Probably should attend to that. But in any case, this is where I actually work. This is where I come. This is the office. It's not much, but it's very functional, Spartan-like, and very productive, so to say. Anyway, uh, Keylogger updates are coming. So I've already done the done this. Most of the code is done, and the decryption process is complete. So you will be able to decrypt the files. You will no longer need to read them in. You will no longer need to receive them in clear text. And in addition to that, you, the keylogger will also be able to pick passwords up. So it will be able to pull the passwords uh, of Wi of Wi-Fi, uh, not Wi-Fi, wireless access points. So let's say you have a laptop and that laptop has connected to, I don't know, a hundred different wireless access points throughout the city, coffee shop, bars, friends' house, etc. So what the keylogger will do is, once it is, once you run it in that machine, it will pick all the wireless passwords up and it will send them via mail as well. So I, I do believe that this is one of the nicer features. Some of you have asked me, well, Urban, why can't we have a keylogger that picks the Windows passwords up, that pulls them out of the out of the files where they are encrypted, or a keylogger that runs before the Windows before the before the login screen appears? As much as I would love to create this for you, I really would. This process is uh, painstakingly difficult, and even if I did manage to make it, it really wouldn't make much difference. Windows patches this fairly fast, because this is like a pretty high threat. And it's a very painstaking process for something that's gonna work for a couple of months and then it's gonna be, then it's gonna be, then it's gonna have its own signature and it's going to be a problem. So this is not going to happen in all likelihood. Uh, but then again, it's not something that's very realistic anyway on any operating system because in order to, to achieve this you have to go into protected RAM which is pretty much a mission impossible if you want to go undetected if you want to go detected then it's a, if you want to be detected by an antivirus software then it's a completely different story so the keylogger the keylogger updates are pretty much done the code is done I just need to actually cast them and I've been really busy these days with the holiday season and all that so having haven't managed to find the time, but I will, they're coming. The C++ course, uh, it's there, I'm gonna post some updates for it as well. Actually, I've casted most of the updates. I'm just rendering them now, and I will post them there. Hope that you will enjoy them. The Keylogger course, I've basically designed for anybody who doesn't understand the code of the Keylogger, for all the beginners, so that you can go and have basic C++ education, so that you would be able to understand more complex things. It's just an idea that I've had in mind for most of the audience. Uh, the next the next set of courses that I'm planning to make uh, will be in regard to a programming language that's kind of dear to me, uh, Python. So we'll do some Python research, we'll uh, see how that language works, and then we'll most likely go into demo scenarios where we'll create some tools. Now whether there will be some general purpose tools, or whether there will be some tools from the pen testing world, 
we'll see. I was kind of planning to play around with network and Python, so to create to create some sort of software in Python, which is going to gather up the net, gather up the info in the network, uh, be able to wreak some havoc as well, possibly for fun and in a legal way in a permitted environment, in a controlled environment, and stuff like that. So feel free to, again, send me as much requests as you want. I'm always available. I answer all the requests. If you send me a PM on YouTube or if you post a comment on YouTube, I will, I will reply to you 99% uh, of the time. If I don't reply to you, just send a message again because I get a lot of messages on Udemy and elsewhere and on YouTube and in my mailbox. I just sometimes skip a message or two. I'm really sorry for that. If I skipped you, just send me a message again, you'll get pushed to the top of the stack and I will see your message and I will respond because you are all very important to me. I, if whatever, whatever it is that I do, I like to do it in a proper fashion. So if you send me a message, if you take in the time to watch some of my material, I will do my very best to try to provide the response for you. However, as I said, I get a lot of inquiries, so just if you don't get a response immediately, just send another inquiry at the same time, just literally copy-paste it, and I, you will get pushed to the top of the stack, and I will try to answer you. Anyway, uh, this would be it as far as the updates are concerned. If you have, as I said, any ideas for the keylogger, please feel free to forward them to me. If you have any requests for the courses, please feel free to forward them to me. And also, I've completely forgot to mention, I'm still in the conceptual process for the ethical hacking tool. I'm thinking what it is that I could put in here. So feel free to spam me with requests in that regard. I'll see what's doable and what's not. So, bid you all farewell and have a great time watching the courses and remember to enjoy learning. Don't just like focus on it. That's it, nothing else. If you don't enjoy the experience, it's a completely empty experience. Keep that in mind. Goodbye.